Welcome! Thank you for spending some of your time with us. My name is Tina Rosenquist and this is Knowledge for Wellness. And this show is to better inform you. Because when you know more, you are empowered to make better decisions for yourself and your loved ones for a better quality of life. And knowledge is power. And today's topic is on issues affecting your health freedom. And I am delighted to present Diane Miller, who is currently the Legal and Public Policy Director. Now, Ms. Miller works to develop and support effective health freedom leadership throughout the United States and internationally with the National Health Freedom Coalition. And Diane Miller is the Director of Law and Public Policy Attorney at Law and the co-founder of National Health Freedom Coalition and National Health Freedom Action. Diane assisted in the passing of the 1999 bill that acknowledges that many natural health care practitioners, such as herbalists, homeopaths, and traditional naturopaths, and healers of all kinds to regularly practice in the public. And one of her main great qualities is that she is able to keep both the safe harbor law for healers of all kinds and the language for the legislation to work in the health field. I'd like to welcome you. It's to, great to be here. Yes, Knowledge for Wellness, and I'm so delighted that you could come on and educate my viewers. Yes, it's just a, a great honor to be here, and I'm glad that you're doing all of this. This is Knowledge for Wellness is exactly what we need in this country. Well, thank you so much. Mm -hmm. So thank you for your mission. Oh, good. Now, of course, this is your first time on Knowledge for Wellness. And I'd love for you to educate my viewers about you and your love and your passion because this is your life journey mm -hmm. and why you chose to go into this. Yes, well, it was a journey, that's for sure. Yes. Um, I, I had chronic illnesses of my own while I was raising my children mm. and started to work with alternatives at that time. And then I actually went to law school as a second profession oh. and went on a case where um, a person was being charged criminally for practicing medicine without a license. And they were an herbalist farmer who was telling people that colostrum was good for them. Mm -hmm. And I just went, well, now why would somebody be charged criminally for practicing medicine without a license when they weren't? really practicing medicine. Sure. It's like how a mother so tells I, her child to, you know, have chicken right, soup. Right, right, yeah. exactly. So I, I just couldn't believe what the law said. It said anybody that was helping anyone get better from anything was practicing medicine and they needed to have a medical license. And I went, whoa, yes. that is really amazing. Mm -hmm. So I worked to, to defend that farmer. Oh. And uh, he cured uh, Congressman Berkeley Bedell of Lyme's disease. Oh. And so former Congressman Bedell was so grateful that he went and started the office in the National Institute of Health for Alternative Medicine. Mm -hmm. But the farmer was good friends with Berkeley, and uh, when he got charged criminally, he uh, was very upset. And so a couple of us attorneys took the case for free, and we represented the farmer, and we brought in experts from all over the world to talk about the ability of immune milk to help people with their wellness. Mm -hmm. And we got two hung juries because Minnesota jury people did not want to put this farmer in jail. Okay. And But we needed to change the law. Right. So after that case, um, I decided to change the law and I got together with a bunch of people and we worked at it at the legislature and we made a safe harbor for all of the people working in the public domain uh, that don't have medical license or nursing license or chiropractic license, people that don't have conventional medical license. Okay, so actually the safe harbor law, could you, exactly what you're going into detail about, mm -hmm. you had mentioned that even some doctors that are medical doctors that were doing uh, anything on other than just practicing Western medicine 
So you can go into more detail with that. Well, there's two areas of law. Okay. One is the licensing laws, where okay. a doctor has a license to do particular things, and mm -hmm. they have a standard of care. Right. And nurses do particular things, and chiropractors. They all are licensed, and they have a privilege to act from the government because they're doing dangerous things. Mm -hmm. uh, and then there's another area of law where people aren't doing dangerous things. They may be doing healing touch or Reiki or homeopathy, okay. um, and they shouldn't have to have permission from the government first. Mm -hmm. They are unlicensed. So we made a law saying if you're unlicensed, you won't be charged for practicing without a license. Mm -hmm. But for the licensed people, some of our holistic doctors have been investigated for doing holistic things because it's outside of the standard conventional medical practice. Okay. And in Minnesota, we lost a couple really good holistic docs uh, from that law. So we have introduced legislation to expand the holistic medical doctor's ability to practice without you know, being reprimanded for doing holistic things. Mm -hmm. So that area of law is one area, and the safe harbor law for unlicensed practitioners is another area. Mm -hmm. And in, in the licensing area, uh, there are 27 states that have laws that allow medical doctors to practice holistic medicine. Mm -hmm. Uh, Minnesota is not one of them. Right. That, that part of our bill did not pass. Mm -hmm. But the unlicensed uh, practitioners have a safe harbor here. They have to avoid dangerous prohibited conduct that's mm -hmm. listed in the statute. And they have to give out a client bill of rights uh, saying who they are and what they do. Mm -hmm. And then their clients can take that piece of paper and go show their doctor and show their doctor who their herbalist is or their homeopath. And mm -hmm. it really is a wonderful statute because it, it, it gives the best of both worlds. Right. The, the people can go to grandma with chicken soup. Mm -hmm. She doesn't have to worry, or the farmer, or a homeopath. And uh, the homeopaths can you know, advertise in the yellow pages and now it's not an underground kind of a situation and everything's above ground. And mm -hmm. then the state can reprimand people that are doing something that is uh, against the prohibited acts in the statute. Right. 